My name is Paul Iverson. I'm an Associate Professor of Classics in the Department of Classics at Case Western Reserve University. I study Greek and Roman epigraphy, which is the writing uh, inscribed on stone or other durable materials. In 1900, there was a shipwreck discovered by Greek sponge divers on the small and rocky islet of Antikythera. One of the divers dove down and discovered a graveyard of statues. And all of this was brought back to Athens and deposited in the National Museum. Somebody noticed writing on one of the bronze fragments. Some of those present claim this was an astrolabe, a device used to gauge latitude on the sea. But there were other scholars at the time who thought that it was too complex because you could see gears. There were gears visible. Then in the 1950s, Derek de Sola Price, he examined it, and he also had a trained epigrapher with him named George Stamiris. And Stamiris was able to read three numbers, 223, 19 and 76. And anyone who works on Greek astronomy uh, or ancient astronomy knows that these are very important numbers. The Antikythera mechanism is an analog computer that computes um, various important astronomical figures in Greek astronomy. That is, it computes the 223 sidereal months of the Saros cycle, it computes the 19 years of the Metonic cycle, and it computed uh, also the Calypic cycle uh, from what we can tell uh, based on the inscriptions that are found on it. If correct, this would have put, pushed back by a thousand years the use of such geared devices to compute things such as these figures. There's another dial that tracked six Pan-Hellenic games, one set of games that they could not decipher. And I was very interested in what these games might be. I want to especially thank the Antikythera Mechanism Research Project, all of whom approved and shared the data with me, and John D. Morgan, who's been especially uh, an, an, a prized collaborator. It turns out that what they published, there was a shadow on one of the letters that was interfering with its reading. And so when I got the data, I, within 15 minutes, recognized what that letter was. And I was able to read the final set of games on the game style as the Hallie of Rhodes. I argue the mechanism was made on Rhodes. I'm not the first to do that. Derek de Sola Price argued that it was made on roads. Case Western is a great place for a project like this because it weds both ancient technology, technology and engineering, with astronomy, the hard sciences, with the humanities. It's been the perfect place to do that for me.